Hello everybody, Paul Richards here with PTZ Optics, and in this video we are doing a USB um, audio mixer review for taking multiple microphones and putting them in the USB, not just for live streaming but also video production. And uh, we're going to look at the Presonos uh, video blocks, whatever it's called, um, the Behringer UM404, and then the Scarlett 18i8. And just to make sure that um, everything is uh, recorded at the highest quality, we are recording in 192 kilohertz. Um, and this is, is being compressed to an MP4, which is realistic for YouTube and live streaming. So let's get right into the audio recordings and then I will show the opening of the box videos and I will show um, kind of my review. So let's start with the Behringer. This is the lowest cost of all of them. This is the $99 Behringer Euphoria UMC 404 HD. This was recorded in 192 kilohertz. Let's let it play. This is an audio test. I am reading from a script. We are looking for the best USB audio mixer on the market. This is an audio test for the Behringer Euphoria UMC 404 HD. Hopefully we will find a great USB audio mixer for our live show every Friday on YouTube and Facebook. This was recorded in 192 kilobits per second. Okay, so that was the Behringer. Now I'm going to show the Focusrite 18i8. This is an audio test. I am reading from a script. We are looking for the best USB audio mixer on the market. This is an audio test for the Scarlett 18i8 Generation 2 USB audio mixer. Hopefully you will find this to be a great USB audio mixer for our live show, for you, whatever you're doing with it. This was recorded in 192 kilobits per second. Okay, last one is going to be the PreSonos. Um, this is the AudioBox 44 VSL. This is an audio test. I am reading from a script. We are looking for the best USB audio mixer on the market. This is an audio test for the PreSonos AudioBox 44 VSL USB audio mixer. Hopefully we will find a great USB audio mixer for our live show every Friday on YouTube and Facebook. This audio recording was recorded in 96 kilobits per second. Okay, so there you have it. Now I'm going to show you some opening the box videos and while I'm going through that, I'm going to talk a little bit about my favorite ones and uh, you know which ones I recommend. Um, Focusrite is obviously the, the biggest and best one, so let's show you our Focusrite opening of the box. So Focusrite is known in the industry for being, this is the one I'm using now, um, one of the highest quality audio mixers, and I should, I should have mentioned this earlier, I'm using a DPA headset microphone. So uh, I'll just stop really quickly. Little headset microphone XLR plugged directly into the mixers for, the, for this recording. Um, Really doesn't get much better than that for audio quality. Is a DPA Define, just highest quality uh, microphone out there, really. Um, here is the Scarlett 2i uh, 18i8. I really like the build quality. Um, it's it's powered over a, a DC power, which I really appreciate as well because um, my old Scarlett 2i2 was powered over USB, and for whatever reason, it would lose power randomly and disconnect during a live show which is what kind of triggered all of this uh, investigation into what is the best audio mixer. Uh, by the way, I'm going to do a separate video for Behringer versus uh, Focusrite, just because I think that those two are kind of on the same level um, in, a, in different ways, and I'll kind of explain why. Um, so there's the Focusrite. Um, kind of equivalent in build quality is the Presonos. The build quality is great. I really like how the little knobs have their, they kind of click into place. I think there's like 20 or 30 little clicks and it, it really allows you to dial down. I, I wish that Focusrite had that capability in their new uh, generation two box because I love that feature. 
Um, build quality overall looks great. Could have, should have, would have done everything I needed, except it only goes up to 96 kilohertz, which, you know, for most people that should be fine, but I just wanted the best of the best. I didn't want to have to worry about it. And I'll talk a little bit at the end of the video as to why and who I've talked to about why to go up to 192. So here's the Euphoria um, UMC 404 from Behringer. This is a great affordable, it's $99 audio mixer. Um, it's got 4x4 USB 2.0 audio and MIDI interfaces. Um, it's compatible with Avid Pro Tools and Ableton. Of course, most live streaming software like vMix and Wirecast and OBS. Uh, very low latency, built like a tank, they say. The build quality is a little cheap, and it's definitely not in the same realm as the um, Focusrite or the Personas, for sure. So, built like a tank, I don't know if I agree with that. Um, reading, just reading off their site here. Three-year warranty, designed and engineered in Germany. Um, so, and I know a lot of people who use this, it does get you the 192 kilohertz per second, um, which is way more than most people need. Uh, four XLR inputs, so it makes it a great little USB interface device. Only $99. It's got phantom power. Um, it's a great device. So what can I say? So why did we go and say that um, the Scarlet's the best? Well, you heard the test audio footage. I'll let you, audio recordings. I'll let you decide uh, which one's the best. The Personos only does 96. That kind of threw it out the window for me. But after looking at Wikipedia and um, looking at sampling rates, you know, most people have been under the impression that you know anything in the 50 to 60 kilohertz, um, anything above that, humans can't hear. And uh, while that is true, many uh, audio technicians will say that doubling uh, what people can actually hear, the bandwidth there, allows you to reduce the amount of um, you know problems that could come up with um, anomalies and, and things that are in the, in the range that humans can hear, especially when you're compressing and streaming data, like live streaming. So that's why most of the live streaming softwares like Wirecast and vMix and OBS, they do support streaming in 192 kilohertz. So I wanted to do that. I just wanted to get the best thing ever and then use that, use that for all my streams. So that's why I'm definitely sticking with the focus right. The last thing I wanted to show with the Focusrite was that it also comes with some software. Let me see if I can put this up here. Here's the software that it comes with. So right on your PC you can, I won't really mess with it too much, but you can change the hardware inputs up and down and edit things, which I think is really nice. I'm not going to go do a full review of that, but that was just a cool little feature that they added. Um, Nothing too crazy there, so you've seen it all. I'm gonna, I am gonna have a second video where I really go head to head on these two to see if it's really worth the extra. This is more than this is like triple the price of this, so it really has to be a lot better. So um, that's our 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 video for today. Thank you so much for watching, everybody, and of course, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and um, stay tuned for our live shows every Friday. Uh, we have them. Every Friday at, uh, at 2 p.m. Eastern, 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Bye, everybody. Take care.